Hello, thank you for coming. And uh, yes, uh, um, better plan to uh, loop methodology has became uh, very popular among a large group of uh, interventionists. And coincidentally, uh, now uh, we have celebrated the, the 10th uh, uh, anniversary of uh, this uh, creation and of the creation of a revolutionary technique because nothing similar was uh, uh, invented before. So, uh, 10 years, uh, 2004, 2014, author myself, the place where the technique was invented is the Tito Clinico Città di Brescia Hospital in Italy and in Abano Terve Hospital where I was acting as a consultant between uh, 2003 and 2006. Technics was published in, 2000, in 2006 and was contained uh, entirely in a DVD, was delivered in a um, uh, congress that uh, I organized in Venice at that time. So this is one of the first cases uh, documented uh, by the data, by the, uh, I think, uh, all information necessary to give a paternity <laughs> to an invention. So this is a case typical, uh, considering not ischemic, for the mere presence of uh, the huge uh, dorsalis pedis balls, the patient uh, was uh, having a very painful uh, heel ulceration, infected too, and who uh, immigrated from hospital to hospital, and nobody was considered him ischemic. But when I performed the angiography of the foot artery, it was clear that the ischemia was caused by the occlusion of the single isolated posterior tibial artery. The technique, you know, perfectly is uh, uh, to cross the uh, dorsalis pedis in case you approach from the anterior aspect or posterior uh, tibial artery in case you approach from the posterior aspect of the foot, the uh, movement of the guide wire is uh, done in order to cross the deep plantar artery and from the deep plantar artery I reach the lateral plantar and the rest of the native uh, posterior tibial artery. The balloon at the time available, freshly available, was the amphirion dip and uh, the amphirion dip was the first balloon that allowed me to uh, increase the chances in performing this uh, uh, technique. Uh, general strategies for uh, uh, people that want to approach this uh, uh, technique is uh, try intraluminal first. Don't consider subintimal uh, the technique for every condition, for everything. It's totally wrong. A careful, competent intraluminal passage with highly steerable hydrophilic coronary wire is, uh, uh, has the highest, uh, highest chance to succeed. Less steerable, I mean nitinol, flexible, elastic uh, uh, coronary wires uh, are not as good as the first one and may dissect, destroy the arch in case uh, uh, they uh, use is done by the subintimal uh, uh, crossing. So, General crossing strategies are advanced. First, the forefront bursting catheter over the O uh, uh, to defy LLT guide wire to reach the tibial artery, the target tibial artery. Then, advance the catheter over the wire close to the lesion, then start gently advancing the pre shaped pedigraphic super support with the drilling, gentle drilling movements, like in the coronary, with similar technique. Uh, then use a 014 tapered uh, over the wire balloon, that is uh, my preferred balloon for uh, probing and for pre dilating and for accompanying the wire along its uh, crossing uh, in the arch. So, how to pre shape the wire? Wire is important. The wire could be pinched a little bit using a clamp. In this case, the most common is, of course, the mosquito clamp. And the final shape is similar to the Jadkins right catheter. This is very important. Double curve uh, gives you the best chance to uh, negotiate uh, even complicate uh, aspect. So the technique has attracted a lot of people uh, representing one of the most attracting techniques to learn because uh, 
uh, is crucial in uh, many cases. Uh, even Dustin Hoffman <laughs> has been attracted by the technique. Uh, and, and similarly, uh, a colleague in 2009, also seduced by the technique, decided to do an interview uh, to the Italian uh, uh, TV channel, declaring himself as the inventor of technique. I think love is magic. Love is unbelievable. <laughs> we can love a technique like a woman. I don't know. So, but now, if some one of us are really interested in learning more about this technique and related technique, uh, Medtronic made available a DVD, uh, just applying to the uh, just applying to the uh, uh, that uh, website. And so, back to the uh, rationale of using this technique, we have an anastomotic arch. Uh, we have a pure anastomotic arch in hand and foot. This is a guarantee. It guarantees that in case of occlusion of an artery, the other artery may supply the consequence of the occlusion. But, but it was evident since uh, the uh, last decade, the last two decades, that even 50% of major amputation may occur in case of a perfectly patent femme tibial bypass because because uh, the uh, consequence was the interruption of the plantar arch or anyway this evidence generated improperly generated what is named the angiosome uh, theory that is a contradiction in terms by anatomy and physiology. Anything. Anyway, this is what happened and uh, why it happened. At, because uh, in diabetic patients that are the most affected by critical limb ischemia and risk of limb loss, there is a phenomenon. The phenomena is named functional end artery phenomena. This is uh, the inability of their people, that people, to create collateral. It's a well known Known characteristics of diabetics, and the, the consequence, the practical consequence of this, is that the ischemic area should be directly perfused for wound healing. Uh, um, the angiosome theory is an invented theory that has a no rational, no uh, scientific uh, uh, explanation other than what I said before. Since uh, 2005, the solution was the plantar artery reconstruction, that is uh, the true name of the technique in terms of uh, um, procedure, and uh, um, integrate femoral approach most of the time, uh, approach through the anterior or posterior tibial artery, intraluminal or rarely subintima recanalization may be adopted. Devices are a few, uh, very low profile, guy wire and balloon cutter like reported in detail in the next slides. Anyway, the loop technique is divided in two types. Type A, simple plantar artery reconstruction, and type B, tibial artery recanalization through the plantar artery we previously uh, 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 we see the example of this type 2 uh, loop technique uh, um, procedure. Now it's attempted in about 20% of all BTK cases in our institution, but the success because of the high incidence of a calcified artery is no more than 60%. It's logical. We have some cases that have uh, foot artery totally destroyed, but even in that case, it's necessary to try to adopt this technique. Meticulous technique is strongly required and it's a crucial, particularly crucial in case of a heel or plantar wounds. It's a repeatable, of course, and dramatically improves the patient's condition. We, what why is the, the best in this case? What I mentioned before, pitographic super support. It is a single piece of uh, stainless steel covered by polymeric uh, terumotype uh, coverage. This is, in my opinion, the best. Uh, maybe not uh, the ideal, but the best uh, according uh, to the uh, several options offered by the market. So. My preferred tool for the technique, uh, probing, uh, uh, probing a catheter is the full French uh, uh, Berestein, probing wire 
35 LLT crossing cut the crossing cut why don't you use a very thin balloon that can be used to predilate the path during the complicated advancement around the loop uh, while selection as reported there are some alternatives that you can see but uh, their use are much less frequent than the first one dilation devices there are plenty of nice balloon long balloon for prolonged balloon inflation are uh, several very low profile balloon monorail over the wire we have uh, a large selection of uh, uh, peripheral balloon but there are a lot of condition in which the coronary balloon is crucial particularly in case of localized, localized very hard calcified lesion that should be treated with a non complete coronary balloon as usual in coronary cases uh, indication uh, plantar arch interruption to maximize the outflow and surgery is uh, rarely an alternative. This doesn't happen in coronary where surgery may represent the second option. We don't have option in such a case so we should perform perfectly the procedure otherwise the consequence is the limb loss. Contraindication lack of operator experience of course an unsuitable device. Complications are quite frequent. Spasm and microembolization can be easily treated by local infusion of a combination of a uracanese and nitro in the same syringe moving back and gentle injecting. This is a magic uh, possibility that we have to reestablish the runoff in case of uh, complication of uh, this type. Rupture should be avoided anyway. The consequence may be severe. This action potential severe and the causes of failure are long chronic arch uh, occlusion of course extreme calcification and unsuitable complicated anatomy some cases to explain you the different uh, aspect of the technique uh, what I would underline is that uh, for the many centers this is uh, just a neuropathic case because ulceration I locate in the area of friction but what will happen if, if we perform anjovy this is a frank pure ischemic case that should be treated accordingly so occlusion of the tibial uh, uh, per, uh, tib perineal trunk occlusion of uh, the arch so first of all recanalization was performed through the posterior tibial artery and the wire was gently advanceable up to the anterior tibial as shown, the procedure was completed using the very long, very nice uh, last generation balloon from uh, many, many companies that are perfect for this technique. And this is uh, the final result. So, another uh, case of, uh, I think, a false uh, narrow ischemic. Uh, uh, foot, this is uh, the aspect of the foot, and the consequence uh, of the angiography was that uh, it's not a uh, neuropathy, it's a pure ischemic due to the interruption of the plantar arch. Like in the previous case, uh, the wire was advanced down the lateral, deep plantar, uh, dorsalis pedis in a retrograde fraction, prolonged balloon inflation, high pressure, the highest available with the balloon you have, and the final result is uh, very acceptable not always perfect because the calcium because the size of the artery but of course uh, we should uh, we face a very compromised uh, uh, small vessel uh, very diffusely a small vessel disease so huge ulceration and require uh, plantar arch reconstruction like in this case where it was evident that the area of the ulceration was at the least perfused, uh, less perfused of uh, the leg and foot. So the advancement was done through the anterior tibial, and this is what happened at the end of the procedure with a huge reperfusion of uh, the uh, ulceration level that allowed the podiatrist and the orthopedics, uh, the foot specialist, to cut the necrotic uh, area and to 
to re-establish the chance for a um, complete healing. So I almost finish just to show uh, the possibility to uh, recanalize one of the two tibial arteries using uh, from the opposite side the loop technique. So, uh, just um, uh, a case to show you that th this technique is possible to perform even in case of a transmetatal cell uh, uh, amputation. And uh, uh, what is necessary may be uh, to uh, see how to uh, uh, cross the lesion. This is what happened when uh, we advanced the uh, the wire along the uh, the foot arch it's uh, not well visible because the artery is extremely small anyway uh, in conclusion I'm sorry because I can't okay in diabetes uh, native astronautic artery uh, turn into functional end arteries. This condition is unable to collateralize the occlusion of even a single tibial artery and the endovascular plantar arch reconstruction is a virtually well established endovascular solution with no or few surgical alternatives. Thank you for your patience.